the guillotine, that nightmarish execution machine that slices people's heads off with a giant razor blade, might be making a comeback. A transsexual is running for the U.S. Senate, and he, she, or it has made the guillotine their campaign symbol, saying that it is symbolic of the work they need to do. Did you get that? The work they need to do. Guillotine. The top priority of the LGBT group is to silence the Christian message by any means. The guillotine came to us through the French Revolution, which was based on hardcore atheism, which is exactly what the LGBT movement is based on even if a few of them wave a Bible around while on the campaign trail. And the entire Democrat Party, they are all sold out to rejecting God, his moral law, and his followers. Now, as a side note, the American Revolution was based on faith in God and his word. Right-wing conservatives choose the American path. The liberal Democrats, well, they are choosing to walk the French Revolution path. A clash is inevitable. Now the Bible warns us clearly that those who follow Christ will be persecuted and I believe persecution is about to raise its ugly head in America. Christians have faced martyrdom since the beginning and last year more Christians were murdered for their faith than at any previous time. The Bible tells us that the great tribulation is coming and in Revelation 20 verse 4 it says, I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus and for the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast nor its image. Interesting that the guillotine is making its appearance within the Democrat Party. Listen up, Christians. Now is the day for you to get serious about your faith. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Commit now to a regiment of prayer, fasting, and scripture memorization. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America, bless God again.